In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the radiometric dating game uh, that goes along with the worksheet in the cami. So you're going to come up here to the tabs. You're going to click dating game. It's going to look like this. You're going to see um, about 15 or 16 different items that are either on the surface or are buried underground. And remember, we should know that as we go deeper, the items are going to get older. So this is applying also the idea of radioactive isotopes. And you'll see that we have up here, we have carbon-14, uranium-238, and then we have custom, which I'll, I'll explain what, what that means. So, for example, on your worksheet, the first one says animal skulls. You're going to take this thing called the Geiger counter, which reads radioactivity. You will point it at the animal skull, um, as well as you can. And you'll see it's already set for carbon-14, which would make sense because this is an organic piece of matter. It was alive, it's full of carbon. And you'll see it says 98.2%. So you now take this slider on the graph and you're gonna move it. And if you look at the top part there, you'll see that the percentage of carbon-14 is changing to be a greater proportion as we move to the left and the years are decreasing. So we're gonna to try to get it to where it is 98.2% or close to that, okay? And right about there is probably about as close as I can get. 98.7 is probably close enough. It says 124 years. So um, we can get close to that. Let's say 130, check estimate. Okay, and that's within the ballpark and this will turn green and you get a little ding, okay? Now, as you go deeper and deeper, you might have to use different things to determine the age. Like if I come down and do this rock, well, and as you'll notice, if I put this on the rock, 0% carbon because it's older or it's a rock, it was never organic, so it wouldn't have any carbon. So we're gonna try uranium-238 instead. And you'll see it has 97.9% .9 uranium-238. So again, I'm going to move the slider along until I get to 97.9. Close to it. There's 97.8. That's certainly close enough. It says uh, 138.3, I'm sorry, 138.87 million years. Okay, so how do we write that? Well, you're going to do 13887. Uh, I'm going to put a comma in there just to make it a little easier for me to see. Uh, maybe. Oops. Check estimate. No, that's wrong. I didn't write it in correctly. Okay, so I'm going to do 138. Eight seven zero zero zero. That should be a hundred and thirty eight million eight hundred and seventy thousand years. Okay, so when you see something like that, one three eight point eight seven million years, remember a million is going to have six digits past the number, so you're going to have a total of nine digits there. Sometimes you're going to get something like this fish, okay? It had carbon, but it's all gone. It doesn't have any uranium, though. So you're going to have to go to custom. You go to custom. Uh, we're going to change the half-life time. Let's put it at 10 million years. Ah, we get 14.4%. So we're going to move this along. And you are going to see that 14.4, uh, 27.98 million years. So 27, uh, 0.98, we'll, we're going to call that 28 million years. One, two, three, one, two, three, check the estimate and that's gonna be good enough, okay? So for the rest of these, you're gonna to have to determine whether it's gonna be carbon, uranium, or custom. Move the slider along, 